I was born and raised in the beautiful country of Belize, located in the heart of Central America. So that's why most of the dishes you see me cook on my show are Belizean dishes. I've lived in California for over 40 years, but that didn't stop my guest today from reaching out to me through Facebook years ago and becoming a friend and a great supporter to the show. This is the first time that I'm meeting him in person, and I'm honored to introduce to some and present to others my friend and guest. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Ta-da! Look who it is! <laughs> <laughs> So people might still not know who you are, Patrick. So please introduce yourself and tell them who you are. Well, my name is Patrick Farber, as you've heard, and I am a member of the Belize House of Representatives. I have been for 20 years. I first got elected in 2003. Wow. And so I've served faithfully the people of Collet for all of these 20 years. Mm -hmm. But um, I have been involved in politics much longer from when I was about 15. So I have over 30 years as a loyal and faithful member of the UDP mm -hmm. and I've worked my way up through the ranks in the party as well you know I was a street campaigner I got to the point where I was a city council candidate general election candidate uh, the youth director of the party I became the chairman of the party at once but and leader of the party too so deputy mm -hmm. leader leader I've filled most of the key posts of the party over the years that I've been in politics yeah. so guys we move over to the table now Patrick is at the head of the table because he's the special guest. And I wanted to ask Patrick, I know the answer to this, but I wanted to ask Patrick, you said you're a member of the UDP party. What does UDP stand for? Well, in Belize, we have two main political parties, the People's United Party and the United Democratic Party. So I'm a member of the United Democratic Party, the UDP. Uh -huh. So um, my family is a part of the UDP party too. So that's why we have a lot in Wonderful. common. Wonderful. But we have a spread here for Patrick. Rice and beans, stew chicken, coleslaw, stuff to make salbutes and panades. But only fish panades, we didn't do beans. So we could have done beans though because we had the beans from the rice and beans. So I just wanted to like go all out for you. I didn't even know what you like, I didn't even ask you. Oh, this is wonderful. You guys, <laughs> this has been in the works for two years. Yeah. October 2021, Patrick told me when I come to California again, I'm going to come and meet you, meet you, but then me and Joe got COVID. And I think after that, right. a couple of your kids got COVID, right? The boys, yeah, right. right? Over Christmas. Yeah, so it's been two years in the making and I'm so happy to have Patrick here with me today. We're going to enjoy this food, of course, and then we're going to come back on camera and talk some more. Before you go on your break, though, let me say about the rice and beans that I learned this from your show. How uh -huh. to make rice and beans in the, in the rice cooker. That was one of the first oh, things whoa. I did. Because I didn't, I didn't know how to do rice and beans. That's one of the first things that I learned from Really? <laughs> and when I did that rice cooker thing, it's because I wanted college kids that are in the dorms mm -hmm. to be able to make it. Because you know, sometimes in the dorms, they really can't cook. They have the right, hot plate right, thing. Right. That's why I did that series. And I saw you make some kind of soup. I make a lot of soups now. Um, beef, I do. I did kung soup. It was a kung soup. Yeah, I, I saw you do that. And you said you learned that from us? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Whenever so, I'm trying to do something Belizean, this beer pantry show is the first place that I go to. And then maybe I'll find, look at other other shows and then try to tweak things and put mm -hmm. my own yeah, yeah. flavor into mm -hmm. things too, you know. But Awesome, you are, awesome. You are the foundation for me. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, well, you, know, you know what I find out? The younger folks in Belize now, they don't cook the way when the old folks used to cook. Not even the older folks cook home. no more yeah. though. Yeah. yeah right? A lot of people, mm -hmm. Even if you go today, Sunday in Belize, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't cook anymore. You go to the Chinese shops, you see the, mm -hmm. the, the lines in front of the Chinese shops. What are they buying there? Fried what they chicken. Sell? Fried, oh, fried chicken. Fried chicken. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to serve the food and eat. And we'll come back and we'll talk um, some more about how Patrick came on my radar, okay? Patrick, go ahead. We don't want everything to get cold. Serve, okay. serve, serve. <laughs> it's like, I hope Patrick made a block the TV. Well, Patrick, don't, hey. You think Patrick blocked the TV, Joe? Don't eat. Well, no, I don't, don't. Hold. Hey, Patrick, I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm eating. Plus dessert. Make us see. So the first thing that I did, I'm going to 
know you can use it if you want that's fine mm -hmm. when i started looking for i used to always cook but i cook things that i was interested in one eat steak one make one eat pizza and so on mm -hmm. for my family you know and when i separated with my wife from my wife mm -hmm. the two ladies who were my neighbors and they were all sympathetic that i was living alone as a man Mm -hmm. and so they started sending me food, but I didn't like their food. <laughs> so I decided. Uh, I'm not cooking that part, ladies. Don't watch. <laughs> so put that in. The one lady died, and the other lady I don't really care for anymore. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And so I started looking up. That that it was on November. Actually, the thing just popped up on my Facebook. A reminder. So I wanted to make sure that by Christmas I could do my own turkey and ham. Mm -hmm. And so, first thing I tried was the rice and beans in the slow cooker. Mm -hmm. Cause I could cook rice, and I could have. By that time, I knew how to make stew beans. Mm -hmm. but, but you just couldn't put it together. But whenever I did it, it was a disaster on the stove top. Mm -hmm. So the, the rice cooker was a welcome change for me. There were times when it never completely finished. You know how the rice cooker pop, pop. up. Mm -hmm. So I had to like tip down the the lid lever <laughs> on the thing to make it cook lead longer <laughs> and dry out. Then after that I did the turkey. Mm -hmm. My Christmas I did my own turkey and mm. and, and ham. From your recipes too. Like with the turkey. I don't think I wanna know say all the next part they know the back. You know like that tail end part? Mm -hmm. You know stuff they know the, the chest cavity. But then it's stuck oh, yeah, things yeah. in the other part. Yeah. I don't think I may know that. I think somebody had to show me that originally, right? When I first get married to Joel. Mm. That's why I'm like a lot of things that I know, I learned from somebody else and I just assume that everybody know, right? So that's why I started to do the show. So when I started to do my show, Patrick, is because I wrote well cookbook, right? And I know that my ma and my family may buy it. But how else am I going to sell it after that? So I tell him I could do a YouTube channel. Then time, not a lot of people may do YouTube right now. So... I had a piece of gold ankle bracelet that I kept fixing, it kept popping and I fixed it. And every time I fix it, it gets shorter and shorter. So I sell it. And I get enough money for going to buy my first lead camera. <laughs> I come home after church one day and get in at this kitchen. No lighting like this, like we say, here. We make bile up in the heat of summer. <laughs> and I put that up and then I make four more videos. My daughter edit for me because I didn't know how to edit digitally. When I went to school, it was all cut with razor blades stuff like that mm -hmm. and i played um ernie smith's song at the end of the video say life is just for living mm -hmm. just that piece just that piece in the beginning i played probably pluto a little piece of one of the pluto songs i like the one that say who are gone gone already who are stay better hang on steady because it's a hard time can't last mm -hmm. i probably because the show is about hard time right mm -hmm. the bear country show and then Google contacted me after the fifth video and they said um they said you can monetize you're not gonna be a partner per se but you can monetize the videos so I gone and just recreated well I made new videos then I eventually recreated those five and I just made those original five private they kind of have the copywritten stuff so I would say right away they monetize but I didn't make my first paycheck right away because you have to make a hundred dollars in order to get paid and it took me about seven months to get to that hundred dollars. Oh, wow. Every month I would make ten dollars and I would go bossy for my pot. Daddy, look, I made another ten dollars. I go, girl, you could buy me a burger. Then the next month I make another ten. He said, girl, you could buy me and you a burger. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually I got paid on that seven months. And after that, I, I get paid every month because you just have to make the hundred dollars, right? Um, that became another source of income along with the book sales. Guys, we ate. Patrick, how was the food? Excellent. Everything was so good. I, I really love the stew chicken in the door. I must tell you that. You know That's what I appreciate about recipe. you, Patrick, is that you tried everything. Yeah. And, and that makes I'm a going, cook I'm feel going good. back a little bit heavier. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it was I, all very good. I wanted to tell my viewers, especially the viewers at Facebook, really quickly, how you came on my radar. It wasn't through like your political office or anything like no. that. It was just as a Facebook friend. I think right. we were Facebook friends. And one day I just saw you promoting my videos. Yeah, yeah. And that really blessed me because at that point I didn't really feel like I had the backing of the Belizean people. I probably did, I just didn't feel like I did, right? 
And I was like, who's this guy? Joe, he's just like, every time I put something out there, he shares it. Oh my God, oh my God. So then I reached out to you privately, and then we started to talk and have a, um, a relationship. And then at that point, you said, whenever we come to California, we said that already earlier. And here you are. Yes. And it only took two extra years because of the pandemic <laughs> and you traveling back and forth and so on and so on yes. and so on, right? Yes. And I hope that this will not be my last time. So, so when I come to Belize, uh, can I get the royal treatment? Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> well, you know, anytime in California, go out, we drop by. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I'm glad that you came this far because who you went to visit in the city that you went to yeah. is not close to here, yes. you know, but you made the extra effort and we really appreciate Absolutely. that. It was worth, it worth the food and the friendship and the conversation mm -hmm. has been very, very wonderful. And, so. and of course, as Belizeans, we found out that we know a lot of people in common. Yes. This one married yes. to that one, that one have a baby for that true. one, so on and so on. Patrick, did you see my video where it was shown that Joe and I are related? No, I don't think I can't. How you that. missed that? <laughs> it has over a mi half a million views. Mm -hmm. And I did my ancestry DNA in 2018. Mm -hmm. And the, he didn't do his till 2020, I believe. And so when we already went through all the regions and so on and so on, I went into like the, um, the matches, the connections, right? Family and so on. And I'm scrolling through, I think his. I'm in his account. And I said, I better not show up in this list of people you're matched with, right? You're connected to. And I scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll till I got almost to the end and my picture pop up I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Joe, me and you related, oh my God, oh my God. In Belize we say, better you leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> so then, stupid me, logged into my account and started to scroll to see if he would pop up. And of course he did, because the thing is genetically yeah. there. But at first it said third cousin once removed, which is fourth cousin. But later on, you know, they keep fixing it and it said fourth to sixth cousin. Mm. So we're tracing it back through Joe's dad's, to your dad's mom people, right? That's what you thought? Your dad's mom or your dad's dad? Dad's the dad's mom, I think. Somebody. And then through my father's mother's people. Mm. Like one, Gabbat, me married to one. <laughs> to I think we say anything after second cousin or so no, you come back in. <laughs> You're good, you're good. <laughs> and after how many years? Uh, 30, 30, 37 years of marriage. Yeah. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter anymore. Right? I mean, no the kids are here and they're already normal. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Although some of them will say they're not. I think so too. That's why I think it's best to leave it alone. The population is so small. Like, especially in back in the days, right? That, yeah. Back in like 19. And then you have some people's secrets that right? would cause the whole thing to. So <laughs> it's best to leave it alone. <laughs> but you know why it shocked us though? Because as Belizeans, you always go to a party and find out that you related to that one distantly or whatever but we've never had nobody in common that we could say oh that's your cousin oh that's my cousin too what's going on here we've never had that mm -hmm. yeah. and so that's why it shocked us but after we did the test one of my cousins my dad's niece we have the same grandparents she and I and um, mm -hmm. she found out she's Joe's cousin too mm -hmm. then another cousin that lives in Belize found I didn't know her before ancestry she found me and she do she do all the digging. She likes to do the digging. Cousin Jay, hey, mm -hmm. and she um, is cousin to Joe and cousin to me. So we know the things that lie, right? So it was fun. But I'm glad you made the effort and you spent a long time with us, and we really appreciate I it. Now we're gonna pack you your pata cake. That's yeah. what Mama used to call it. The I'll pata take a piece cake. of that cake, Joe. It looks very good, but I can't you, go to the You want to take it for the road? Sure, I'll you take, take a piece. Take it with your shirt. Okay, so <laughs> let's pack you up, uh, Patrick. Oh, in, in YouTube, that means something different, you know, when they pack you up. That means they cuss you out. Oh, no, we're not cussing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed the visit with Patrick. Um, this is an honor to have him here, um, of course, because of all the political offices he has held in Belize. And Patrick's a true friend of the show and a friend of um, Joe and me. And we really appreciate the fact that he came. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video and we want to have more people coming, right? Next time, bring um, your son. My son. Patrick yeah. has a son. Well, he has uh, several kids, but the son that I want to talk about is named Christian, right? Krishnan. Krishnan. Yeah. Krishnan. And um, he uh, has a music career. And we're going to send me some links. Tell him to send yes. me some links. Okay. And we're going to put it in the description so you guys can follow his music and support this young man. He's only 18. Handsome. Handsome, Patrick. Handsome. The second one, shh, don't tell nobody. He's my favorite. <laughs>
<laughs> As I said, public right now, they're, they're all beautiful. <laughs> they're all beautiful kids. All your children are Thank beautiful. You. Yeah, so we're, I'm gonna put his information because if he had come, I would have had him promote his stuff. So you're promoting it on his behalf, okay. all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, tell Patrick hello, and uh, check out all the links that I have in the description, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, I'll see. I always enjoy watching you, how you interact. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>